Just about time for first pitch in Washington, D.C. It's time for Giants baseball. Next. Nighttime baseball now from the district as you get a look inside beautiful Nationals Park in Washington. Tonight we continue the road trip with the first of three between the Giants and the East leading Washington Nationals. Matt Vaskersian here with you. Welcome to Giants baseball. Alongside me are Eric Karros and Steve Lyons. And Steve, a good matchup on the mound here in this opener. And you know, each of these two guys you see here are going to be looking to set the tone for this series. Now, you know you always want to get the series off to a good start. So we'll see if either or maybe both of these guys are up to the task. All right, Steve, EK will join us in a moment. But before he does, let's get a look at the starting lineup for the visiting San Francisco Giants as manager Bruce Bochy sets his guys up like this. Nori Aoki will stand in, currently eighth in the National League in hitting to enter play. Ready now on one and one. Ah, changed things up on him, and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. Eric, these Nationals as they enter play here tonight, they came up a little short last time out, but they've still been one of the hotter teams around, winning eight of their last ten ball games. And it's a good position to be in. You've been playing good baseball, and now you get to come home and start a homestand. They've got a chance to really make some noise in the division if they can keep playing. Angel Pagan will stand in for the first time here. That's the 2-2 pitch. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. The 2-2 one more time. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, 3-2. A former MVP waiting on deck in the form of Buster Posey. Here's the 3-2 pitch. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at-bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. 3-2, here it comes. Taken the other way, but this should be routine out there in right field. Plough will make the play, and there are two gone now. Well, I'll tell you what. This won't look like a whole lot in the box score, but anytime you can make a pitcher use up eight pitches to get you out, you've done your job as a hitter. Buster Posey will stand in now. He homered in the ball game yesterday afternoon. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Down low, two balls and a strike. And this is something we've seen a lot from him recently. He's worked his way into another good hitter's count. Yeah, it's not unrelated either. When you're going good at the plate, it usually means you're being selective and you're not getting yourself out. And when that happens, you'll find yourself in these kind of counts. Now the Gonzalez pitch is bounced out to Desmond at short. Throw to first to get him easily and the side is retired. Giants down in order. Now it'll be Washington's turn in a scoreless ball game. Starting lineup for Washington looks like this. match up against an intimidating foe indeed the hard throwing left hander Madison Bumgarner <laughs> 2-2 <laughs> 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 
Denard Span digs in at the plate. Here's the pitch. And Span swings and misses at that one. A good pitch that time, and he's retired for the first out. And after that pitch was called a ball on the pitch before, I, mean, I think Nick's actually qualified to strike four. You know, on the mound, he's probably thinking, hey, can I apply the credit to the next guy? And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. The 3 2 one more time. And the payoff pitch is chopped foul at home plate, so we'll do it again. Still 3 and 2. Another full count pitch home. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Well, nobody in that dugout is going to give him high five for striking out. But, you know, at least he forced that starter to expend a lot of energy here to get the job done. You know, in the first inning, that won't be lost on his teammates. Anthony Rendon will stand in as he'll enter play fourth in the National League batting race. Now the one and one pitch. Good hard slider at 88. It's one and two now. Eric, you take a look at our visiting club as they take the field tonight here in the bottom of the first. They come in trying to rebound after a loss that snapped a modest three-game winning streak. And I think it's just going to be a matter of putting yesterday behind you. It wasn't their finest performance of the year, that's for sure, but they're capable of playing much better ball, and I think we'll see a sharper focus here on this one. Here comes a 2-2. Two -two. Now a ball slapped hard the opposite way. And he'll have himself a base hit. First base runner of the ball game now for either team. Comes with two outs here in the home first. Now, with the cleanup guy due next, things all of a sudden could get a bit interesting. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Nationals lead one. We played an inning. No score. Hunter Pence will dig in now. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. Strike him out. Payoff pitch coming. And that misses for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. Hey, you know what? That's all right. He gave him a pretty good battle up there, and he never gave in to him. A walk you can work around. A home run, you can't. Casey McGee will get his first shot here with the runner on following the leadoff walk. 3-2 pitch. Big swing there as it's hit pretty well out toward deep left field. Harper has to retreat a bit, but he gets there for route number one. Oh, I really like this call here on the 3-2 pitch. They come with the change, and I doubt he was looking for that. He winds up just lofting an easy fly ball out. Brandon Belt will stand in, and you see what he's done over the past four games, as hot as they come. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Oh, and he dialed that one down and got him to swing through it. It's 1-2 and two now. Ah, uh, he's playing right into that big swing from a pitch before. Just throw something slow here, and you'll probably have him three feet out in front. Look out. That one almost got away from him. 2-2 two and two now. And we're going to see a lot more of this because this is a guy who's let it be known that he will work inside. He'll even back you off the plate if he has to. He goes the other way as this is hit well out toward deep left field. And there's out number two as this is taken in shy of the track and the runner will have to retreat. And he'll try to get back now, but it's not going to work. The throw hangs him out to dry and that'll end the inning. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. And we are tied nothing-nothing. Ryan Zimmerman will come forward now, back in the lineup after being used as a pinch hitter last night. Here comes the 2-1. A swing and a miss there, 2-2. Two two. 
Here now the 2-2. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. Throw on to first in time, one away. This is a pretty simple play for a catcher right here. It's a nice pitch, and it looks like he might have chopped it right down off a home plate. You can see the catcher get out of his crouch, take it on one big hop, and then just make the good, strong throw to first to get him easily. Stepping in now, Ian Desmond. And he lays off this one down and in for ball two. Bottom of the second here with no score. Swing and a line drive. Foul. Here he comes on two and two. Now this is lined into left field for the base hit. Wilson Ramos will get his first shot here with the runner at first now and one away. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. And sometimes it doesn't quite matter how hard a thrower a guy is. If he can locate, he's going to be successful. The location here is absolutely spot on, right on the inside corner. That's a tough, tough pitch. Into the box, Yunel Escobar. And this is going to be fouled into the diamond level seats. The one two and a breaking ball freezes him strike three called and the side is retired one left for Washington will move to the third with no score. Joe panic will lead things off bottom third of the order set to go here in the third. Here's the one two. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. McLeod is over near the stands as he makes the catch for the first down. So with one gone, a reminder the Giants baseball continues here on the show. There you get a look at what's coming up for the orange and black over the next seven days. So the base is empty here with one away. And stepping in, the slick fielding shortstop, Brandon Crawford. Now a swing and a ball hit high in the air into shallow left center. There to take it in is Harper, and there are two away now. And if these guys want to keep it fly balls, I think he'll be happy with that. Especially when it's the guy down near the bottom of the lineup. Madison Bumgarner will stand in here hoping to pick up his club's first hit in the contest. A ball and two strikes to count now with the bases empty and two away. Yeah, I don't think you want to come in throwing a lot of high change-ups. That's a pitch he's going to have to get lower in the strike zone. That misses and we're even at two and two. Boy, that's pretty good patience out there out of a pitcher who's acting like a hitter, especially with two outs. Here's the two and two offering. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. Giants are down one, two, three. Home half of the third coming up, no score. Gio Gonzalez makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. Slider, and he touches 90 with that one. It's one and two. And against a guy like this, you're usually only going to get one pitch to hit in that bat. Sometimes you might not even get that, so that's one he may want back. Fouled back. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Swing and a broken bat as this ball's hit on the ground. And he's retired here, one away. You know, you always worry about the pitcher in a situation like this because he's the closest one to the action. So, of course, he has the least amount of time to dodge anything that comes his way. But he concentrates well enough to get the baseball and throw the guy out at first. Into the box now, Denard Spann. And a fastball here as he rides it the other way into left, a base hit.
Nate McLeod will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. On to first, and there are two down. Yeah, and here with the runner who's on the move, you've got no chance of even thinking about hitting the double play. So a smart idea there just to take the sure out at first. Full count offering on its way. And he takes ball four. So now at least they're set up for the force at any base here with two away. Yeah, they went to the slider there on three and two, and that's a pitch where you're really hoping a hitter will see fastball and swing through it. But it didn't work out that time. He winds up losing him. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Once again, a 3-2. Out in front of it as this is pulled down the line to first. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Bottom of inning number three. Nothing, nothing our score. Payoff pitch one more time. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But foul. Another payoff pitch. There's a good swing by Harper, but this will drift foul off to the right and out of play. The next 3-2. Hard hit towards center. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. A golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes for naught. More in a moment on the show, the Friday Night Showcase. Nori Aoki will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Now here's the pitch. Lays off that time, and it's one and two. Not much to shout about for either team here as we start the fourth inning. Nothing, nothing. Yeah, I think we kind of knew that pitching might take the upper hand here. Maybe not to this extent, but both guys have really thrown the ball well. Here comes a one-two. And a fastball. Mm, tough take there, but it's even back at two and two. And again, they try to take him down in the strike zone just to see if he'll go after that pitch below the knees. But with two strikes, he's been able to lay off that thing now twice in a row. The 2-2 two -two coming. Now a check swing, but he does manage to hold up in time. Ball three. Uh, he just about went around. He, he was lucky to put on the brakes when he did. Come on, Dad. Now here it comes. Hard hit to third. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Boy, and he's come out with a plan against these hitters. And he's executed that plan to perfection here early on. That's seven in a row now he's set down. So with one away, it's the center fielder, Angel Pagan. Pitch on the way. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. The next 3-2. Now a swing and another chance at third. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. Some guys... You almost do him a favor if you pitch away from him. Here, he's just doing what he does best. Great balance here. Good swing path, and he drives it the other way. In now, Buster Posey. And this is hit hard on the ground at first. Desmond for one. On to first, and it's another double play. They're second in the first four innings as that one will retire the side. Ryan Zimmerman will get the first shot here when we come back. To the bottom of inning number four we go, and we are tied nothing-nothing. And there is Ryan Zimmerman. He'll look to get something going here in this scoreless ball game.
1-1 on the way. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to 2-1 and one now. And that's a pitch you have to lay off right there. That tight slider busting down and out of the zone, all that can do is tie you up. Here's the two and one pitch. Here we go. Out of play. Let's go, Nashville. Now the two two pitch. Fastball called strike three, and there's the first down of the inning. And a reminder, nothing says America like baseball on the 4th of July. And we'll have it for you in high definition here on the show tomorrow as you get a look there at the pitching matchup on tap for Independence Day at the ballpark. And, oh, a big rip at the curveball, but he didn't get it, and he becomes the second casualty of the inning. And sometimes up there you just get completely fooled. I mean, I think he changed his mind about swinging at this pitch about three different times on its way to the plate. I'm going to swing. No, no, no. Uh, I'm going to take it. Oh, well, I better try to at least foul it off. And in the end, he got nothing. Standing in now, Wilson Ramos. Swing and a miss as he went after the slider there, and that'll run the count full. And if you're going to go after that pitch, you've got to be thinking right field. I think he just pulled off of that one a little. Now the three and two pitch. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at-bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. And this one misses high for ball four, and they have themselves a two-out base runner. Yunel Escobar will dig in now, hoping to perhaps make him pay for the two-out walk. And he gives this one a pretty good ride down the left field line. Aoki retreats to the track, and he'll put this one away. So a sigh of relief as the side is retired. Hunter Pence will start things out when we come back. We played four full. And we are tied, nothing, nothing. And there is Hunter Pence. He's in to get things going here in inning number five. The 1-1 one, one home. Hit hard right back up the middle, and he's got a leadoff single. Yeah, and guys, there's a look at his line through the first few innings. Pretty dominant so far. Just the second hit he's allowed tonight. And the first one didn't wind up hurting him at all. So we'll see if he can get out of this inning as well. Casey McGee will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. 2-2. And a check swing here, but the bat clearly breaks the plane as he set down for the first out. You know, it seems like every time we check these out and show motion, it always looks like the bat breaks the plane. Look here, sure enough, I don't think he holds up in time. Looked to me like that was the right call. Into the box, Brandon Belt. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. No runs, two hits, and no errors on the giant ledger to this point. Now another 0-2. And he couldn't get him to chase the 0-2 fastball. It's one and two. All right, four scoreless innings in the books. What's it going to take to push across our first run? Well, I think both pitchers have really dominated so far. This is where getting the leadoff guy on is so key. You know, get the pitcher into the stretch, get him out of his comfort zone. Then maybe your offense can go from there. Well, so much for being thrown out of rhythm by that leadoff single. It doesn't seem to have affected him one bit. Come back with the two straight strikeouts, and now he's turned things around in this inning. Here's the 1-1 pitch. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. He's closing in on putting up yet another zero. Now the 1-2. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul.
Here's another one, two. And here's a ball hit in the air. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Now another one, two. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw in time and the side is retired. Five innings have been no problem as he's got this shutout working. Home half of the fifth coming up. And we still have no score. Gio Gonzalez will come forward now to start things out against his opposite number. And these two have matched each other pitch for pitch here through the first half or so of this ball game. Yeah, I think we had an idea runs might be hard to come by. You know, maybe not this hard to come by, but both of these guys have been just about flawless so far. And now a pitch on the way. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. I think we expected to see a well-pitched game coming in, and, and we got one. It's starting to look like the team who scores first might be the one who wins. That's in there on the outer half. One and two now. Here it comes. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Here he comes again. One, two. To two balls and two strikes now. Mm. That, that's definitely a borderline pitch there on one and two. Now, I don't think he could have had any argument at the plate if that was called strike three. Catch made out there by Pagan, and there are two gone now. So still nothing against him on the scoreboard here in the fifth as we check out the league leaderboard for Team ERA. And you can see that these guys are, as we speak, fourth in the NL in that category. Nate McLeod will dig in for the third time now. He struck out and bounced out in his first two trips. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. And the pitch. Well, he just threw that fastball by him. And even with two outs, this is a team that can still put something together here, especially in this part of the lineup. So you can't let your guard down. And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Nationals gone in order. Sixth inning coming up, still zip, zip. Brandon Crawford will stride into the box as he'll get things started for the Giants in their half of the sixth. Two-two pitch on the way. Now a swing as he pulls this one down the line and right. And the sixth inning opens with a fly out, one away. This one's been everything we'd hoped for. Two of the best left-handed starters in the business, and they've matched each other pretty much pitch for pitch so far. Madison Bumgarner will bat for himself here in a tie ball game in the sixth. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. On a hole now as he swings and misses at a pitch in the dirt, and it's 1-2 and two now. For that man right there, you need look back only to his last start to see a performance like the one he's shown here so far. And well on his way to another great outing. And that's what you get when you mix your speeds and throw a lot of strikes. Again, a 1-2. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the sixth inning. Yeah, he's able to set down his opposite number there, and I'll tell you, these two guys have pretty much matched each other pitch for pitch so far. Nori Aoki will stand in 0 for 2 thus far. The 1-1. One, one. And this is hit well towards the hole. 
just onto the outfield grass as he makes the stop. Pro gets him there from short right field. A nice play, and that one ends the inning. Giants down in order. We are still scoreless. Anthony Rendon will stand in, and he'll lead off in the Washington sixth. Here's the pitch. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. On 0 and 2, if that's a curveball, a, a changeup, a sinker, well, then maybe you get a guy to chase. But it's much easier to lay off a pitch down there when it's a straight fastball. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ball game for him. There you get a look at his pitches by inning so far. Really, the only bad one was that third inning. Bryce Harper will try things again. He's grounded out and lined out in two trips. Now here's the pitch. That misses, says the home plate umpire. One and two. Where it misses, I'm not quite sure. And even though he's pitching well, this is a part of the order that he's really got to worry about. Now they can turn a good outing into a bad one pretty darn quickly. One, two. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at one and two. He'll try again, one, two. And this is lifted in the air out to left. Aoki will get there with ease as he puts it away for out number two. Can you take a look there at the line from our starter? I mean, basically, he's allowed three singles so far, and that's it. They haven't been able to mount any real opposition against him so far. Ryan Zimmerman will try it again. He's grounded out and struck out in two trips. No runs, three hits. And no errors so far for the Nationals. Good eye there by young Zimmerman as he moves ahead in the count two and one. Yeah, and on two and one right now, you got to figure this guy's wound up for the fastball here. Maybe you come with the breaking ball here out of the zone. And, and we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Three up, three down for Washington. And this is still a nothing, nothing ball game. Back here at Nationals Park, neither team denting the run column quite yet as we look at the game summary through the first six innings of play. Angel Pagan will come forward now to begin the seventh inning in what's been a very briskly played ball game here tonight. That's what happens when you get two starters that are on top of their game. It's been great pitching, great defense, not a lot of base runners, and very even game through six innings. And some action out in that Washington bullpen now as we see both a left-hander and a right-hander throwing. Now a swing and a hard-hit grounder, but a foul ball, one and two now. Here's the lefties offering on one and two. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Now another one, two. Breaking ball misses the corner. Two balls and two strikes. Ooh, there's a tough one to take right there on a one and two pitch, especially after fighting off so many pitches leading up to that one. And now this is swung on and missed. Pagan is the strikeout victim here. One away. Well, this curveball, it, it just disappears. He thinks he's right on it at the plate. Look where it winds up. Completely out of the zone. And that's what you want as a pitcher. You want hitters to chase pitches that aren't strikes. 
stepping in now, Buster Posey. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. What's the best way to make sure that cleanup guy doesn't get to hit with runners on base? How about back-to-back -back strikeouts? That'll do the job. Hunter Pence will stand in now with two away, trying to avoid another 1-2-3 inning. Now, this has been total domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever. Now a swing and a ground ball. On to first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. Giants are down one, two, three. Still no score. Ian Desmond will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. And it looks now like a right-hander's getting hot in the Giants' bullpen. Sharply back through the box, and the go ahead run's going to reach here to start the inning. It's a leadoff single. Yeah, and about the only drawback you have to having so many strikeouts is that it really runs that pitch count up. You can see on the graphic right here that that total's starting to get up there now, so he may be getting just a little bit tired. And he misses with it, ball four, so the potential go ahead run moves into scoring position now. Yunel Escobar will step in now as his guys look for a breakthrough here with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, and it's been a long time coming. They haven't done anything with their opportunities so far. Maybe this would be the time that they finally crack the scoreboard. Gio Gonzalez will buy himself another at-bat, and in turn, he'll get himself a nice little ovation for the work he's trying. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Nationals leave one. We are still scoreless. Casey McGee will stand in now. He flew out in his first time around and then was a strikeout victim last time. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it, and the leadoff man's aboard. And he'd been on a pretty good roll until that base hit right there. He'd set down nine in a row, so now he's going to have to remember what it's like to work out of the stretch. Now the national skipper's up out of the dugout on his way to the mound, and a change is coming up as that's going to be all for Gio Gonzalez. Some action out in the bullpen, a couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Now the 1-1. One, 1-2 one. One and two as he chases the slider. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. Go ahead runs aboard here at first with nobody out. Pause, now the pitch. Now a fastball runs inside and drills him. Oh, that's got to hurt. Well, the thing that's important here is... You just move that go-ahead run 90 feet closer to scoring. A lot of times, that's the kind of mistake that can cost you a game, and this one very well might. Joe Panic will try it again. 0 for 2 with a fly out and a ground ball thus far. Comes set, now the pitch. And now a two-strike bunt attempt here as this one's down. Throw on to first, so the sacrifice is successful. Perfect job there of getting it down. So now that's the go-ahead run right there over at third with just one out. Brandon Crawford will stand in again. He's flown out in each of his first two plate appearances thus far. The 2-2. And he will look at a called third strike. And that go-ahead run has to stay right where it is at third with two away now. You got the go-ahead run in scoring position in this situation, and you come up with a huge strikeout like that. You're pumping your fist. Your intensity is a little bit higher. This guy is focused in right now and very happy with his results. Joaquin Aria will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 13.
And he lays off, ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. Nori Aoki to step in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. And a chance at redemption, too, because he hasn't done much through his first three plate appearances, but he can make up for all of them. Meanwhile, this ball gets down. It's a base hit. And the go-ahead run will score from third as they've taken the lead here in the late going. That's a nice swing of the bat right there. Hits that ball right on the button out to left field. That'll easily score that runner from third. Yeah, we see a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. In now, Angel Pagan. Now here's a swing and a ball hit well out there toward right center. And this is down for extra bases and with two outs, this might get them all home. Two runs are in. Now the third man is scoring. Keith Bell will enter the ball game out of the pen as he'll look to get the final out here in the top of inning number eight. Number 21. Buster Posey will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. Here he comes on two and one. And a breaking ball runs in and gets him, and I doubt there was any intent behind that. Well, I know that instantly everyone's going to start pointing fingers out there, but when you're facing a guy like this, as a pitcher, you have to be allowed to work inside. That'll hurt a bit, but it's just part of the game you have to live with. 1-1 pitch on the way. And here's a pitch swung on and missed. 1-2 and two now. Figure we'll probably see a heavy dose of that sinker here tonight. It's really a pitch you'll lean on, it, especially when he needs that ground ball. But even in situations like this where he's just trying to get ahead. Now here's a swing by Pence and a ball hit well out to deep left field. Into the seats, and it's gone. Hunter Pence, a three-run shot. Number 196 for his career, as this lead swells to 7 to nothing. Yeah, and that's what you're paying your big horse to do out there. I think he knew he wasn't going to get a fastball right there, so he just stays back as long as he can and then just explodes right through the zone. Into the box now, Casey McGee. This is a hard hit ball back up the middle, and he's going to have his second hit tonight as it's into center field for a base hit. Yeah, he hit a good pitch there. This thing's toward the outside part of the plate, but he stays with it all the way, uses the big part of the field, and gets himself a base hit. Standing in now, Brandon Belt. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Yeah, he knows he's already given up one home run in the inning. So this wasn't the most aggressive sequence we've seen. He winds up losing him on three and two. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander begins throwing. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Two and one. I think that man right there is reaching the end of his wits. Oh, his team is absolutely imploding right now, and it basically came out of nowhere. To two and two now. Wow, what a good time to take something off of that pitch. And they had him fooled pretty good on that one. Sets the 2-2 two -two pitch. Now a ball lined hard toward deep right field. McLeod is there to make the catch, and mercifully, the side is finally retired. But not only do they take the lead, they also open it up a bit as seven men come across to score. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Giants' seven, and the Nationals' nothing. Sergio Romo will come in now working with a huge lead, so he'll just look to get some work in here. Denard Spann, stride forward to lead it off, and I'd imagine he'll do so with some tired legs after being out in the field for that last half inning. 
Yeah, that was a killer. He could probably use a minute or two on the bench, but he gets pressed right back into action here. Here's a swing and a ground ball, and he'll take this to the bag of three unassisted for the first down. You know, this guy's been a savior out of the bullpen for this team so far this season. His ERA is under two coming into play, and he gets the first man to greet him right here. Nate McLeod will stride in, grounded out his last time through. 1-1. One, one. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. Now here it comes. And a pitch taken by McLeod, and it's back to two and two now. Now here's the pitch. And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. Bases are empty, one man out. Now another 2-2. Two, two. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. Time to bring you up to date on the numbers for our two starters. It's our starter comparison, and the hometown nine have had trouble generating much by way of hits, as you can see by the left side of your screen. Anthony Rendon will stand in now with two away, needing to really get something started here. And their chances of getting back into this ball game are growing dimmer by the batter. Now the 3-1 home. Swing and a ball hard hit toward deep right. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Nationals gone in order. They're down by a touchdown, 7-0. Jerry Blevins will come on now in a mop-up role as he'll just try and keep this deficit from growing any larger. Brandon Crawford will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. 1 and 2 as the changeup had him out in front there. Here comes the 1-2. And oh, he can't get out of the way of that one. So the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. Well, you never want to hit a guy leading off an inning, but you especially don't want to do it with two strikes on him already. Those have a tendency to come back and haunt you later on. Gregor Blanco will come on to pinch hit now with a runner at first and nobody out. Good time to call the change as he swings and misses for strike two. Uh, now you got to beware of that sinker. I mean, he'd take a strikeout right now, but I think he still just wants this guy to hit the ball on the ground. Ran one in there as this is hit on the ground towards second. And he'll get the fielder's choice play a second, but that's all. Not much more to say here. I mean, this has just been an awful performance from these guys. Top to bottom. They can't hit the ball, they can't catch a ball, and they can't throw the ball. Nothing has gone right. They got to be thinking, this one, it can't end soon enough. And indeed, the throw will finish him off as they get the put out at first, and there are two away now. Angel Pagan will stand in in another RBI spot. He's already got three in this one. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Just did manage to catch that one with the last two inches of his glove. That could have been trouble. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. The man on third with two down. Here's the two and two home. Now a pitch swung on and hit to Desmond at short. Throw on to first, and that error won't come back to haunt him after all as the inning is over. Giants leave one, and they hold a 7-0 lead. Santiago Casilla is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. Number 46, Santiago Casilla. Bryce Harper will be tasked now with leading things off in their half of the night as they'll try to do something to prevent being shut out. And whatever they've done for the first eight innings hasn't yielded a whole lot so far, so quite for out of here. She was a wall scraper, buddy.